So you know what, I have heard every excuse under the sun as to why so many guys seem to be struggling to have the date in life that they want. Oh, I keep missing all these opportunities or no one wants to come and talk to me or I just don't know why I'm not getting myself on dates or finding the relationship that I've always wanted. I've heard everything, literally everything. And after my 16 years of uh, being in the dating industry and certainly working with like tens of thousands of guys during that time, I've recognized that certainly at least one particular trait that separates the guys who do get results with women to the guys that don't. And that's why I thought, you know what, I'm going to share that in this video and hope that at least it inspires you to understand what perhaps maybe you are doing wrong to what you need to be doing to start getting results. Now, I won't be too cryptic about this. Getting straight to the point, if you want to be getting the results with women and if you want to be certainly developing the particular trait that you need to actually get those results, you need to learn to take more risks and go for what you want. That is probably one of the most attractive things that appeals to everyone. And, and if you think about it, you're not then becoming that guy who's missing out on opportunities. The reason why you're missing out on so many chances to go on dates with women is because you're not taking the initiative and going for it. If you think about why cold approaching is so successful and certainly why like dating coaches over the years have had such amazing results and they've, you know, been able to stop and date the most beautiful women in the world and plenty, certainly not just even coaches, but guys have been able to find really happy relationships and get married and have kids and so on. It's because they have put themselves out there. They have been willing to try and fail and learn from whatever mistakes or errors that they've made during that process. The guys that don't tend to get the best results are the ones who are willing to just let opportunities fly by and they don't go for it. So think about your own dating life at the moment. What is your situation? Are you actively taking the initiative and taking risks? And if you see someone that you're attracted to, are you at the very least going over to try and strike a conversation? Let's not even like like rush to the end game here and think about like, you know, getting the phone number, going on a date and, and whatnot. But are you at the very least going over to give a compliment and try and have a conversation to figure out if that person is right for you? Or are you the person that sees someone beautiful walk past them and you don't even blink an eye and turn around to go back? You just carry on walking and then about half an hour later, you're sitting there sort of moaning and going like, damn, what if I'd have gone and done it? And then when the next opportunity comes, the exact same thing plays out and you miss another opportunity and another one. Well, it's that sort of like lack of taking the initiative or showing those kind of leadership skills within yourself. That is what is stopping you from developing that very attractive trait that so many people have. And if in a way, if you kind of, if the shoe were on the other foot here, let's say uh, you're a beautiful woman. This is going to be a really strange example, but you're a beautiful woman and you want to meet a really great guy. You're someone who's looking to have a relationship. Then you would kind of hope that someone would come over and talk to you, especially if you have passed someone that you are attracted to. You'd maybe give them whatever hint to come over and talk to you, but you aren't going to take that initiative. You're going to be hoping that the guy traditionally is going to come over and say something. Now, moving the shoe back to the normal foot again, this is why you have to be the one to do it. I think 99 out of 100 times, uh, the girl is not going to approach a guy. You know, there might be that once in a blue moon situation that uh, a woman might see a guy and she'll be the one to take the initiative and maybe... Uh, give him her number 
or uh, try and strike a conversation or play the uh, the whole indirect game to get the conversation going. So it really is down to you to be the one to do something about it. And if you don't, that responsibility is on you and you alone, which means then she's going to just sort of think, oh, well, maybe he's not attracted to me or maybe, oh, he's taken or something. And that opportunity is going to go. Women love a guy who takes action, takes risks, shows that initiative and that independence and directness to go over and talk to them. So again, think about your own dating life. And this really, in fact, this actually applies to just anything like going for like a promotion or going for a job, or if you want to go out and socialize, you know, if you want to make friends or if you want to hang out with your friends, sometimes you can't wait for your friends to be the ones to arrange for kind of a night out to go and do something. Maybe it has to be you to be the one to go and do that. Don't be afraid to take that initiative and be the one to plan something. But there is something certainly to be said with being the one to actually take the risks and not hold back. So let me just check. I think that's kind of all of the notes that I really wanted to say on that. But it is just making sure that, you know, you are taking risks and going for what you want in life. And if you can do that, and it's not an overnight thing either, you have to, again, which I have said in so many videos, you have to desensitize yourself to this experience and certainly go through the whole exposure therapy process too. And the more you can put yourself in situations that's about being, uh, uh, being a risk taker and certainly pushing you out of your comfort zone, the more this will become a very normal thing for you. And certainly you will develop your confidence in this to prep yourself for when you do meet that amazing woman who is going to be exactly what you were looking for, either in a date or in a relationship and so on. So all of these uh, experiences that you have for risk taking and, uh, and practicing to go for what you want is only going to lead up to that perfect moment or that ideal moment that you were looking for, where then you are going to be meeting the women that you've always wanted today and you are going to be mentally and physically prepared for it rather than being that guy letting all these opportunities go by. Don't be that guy. Don't be that what if guy, you know, be the guy who at least goes for it and can walk away with his head held high and not think, oh, what if I'd have done this or what if I'd have done that? You don't know if you were her ideal guy, even if you weren't the most confident of men, it's just that showing that again, that initiative, I can't emphasize it enough really, but just that ability to go over and say something. And truth be told, that's exactly, even the guys who have been very new to coming into cold approaching or the guys that I've known have gone to work with a dating coach, those have been the guys who have gotten the best results or have had a date in life that they've wanted because they've at least taken those little steps to just go over say hello and just see what happens and just get used to whatever the outcome is and learn to live in the moment too. So if you are someone who is certainly struggling to put yourself out there, maybe you need someone to help to hold you accountable, then by all means do have a look at my website and I offer not just my life coaching, but I also offer my dating desensitization therapy where I can help you to develop this skill of becoming a risk taker and learning to go for what you want. Sometimes all it takes is just having that support from someone to give you that little push in the right direction and help you if you come out of an interaction and you are absolutely scared, shitless. I'm there to make sure that you stay calm, that you relax and you learn through every approach that you do. It's an experiential process. And if you can, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out to reach even more guys and help them out with their problems as well. And if you can, comment below this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well. Or perhaps maybe there are also other 
things that you've recognized with guys that maybe they need to be developing that's going to help them with their confidence. But certainly, just to summarize, if you really want to improve your dating life with women, you've got to learn to take risks and go for the things that you want in life. And I can assure you, you will develop a level of confidence and independence that will be so attractive, not just to women, but just to everyone in general, friends, family, colleagues, and so on. But you will certainly have the date in life that you want. So I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. Thank you so much for watching and uh, look forward to more videos coming from me in the near future.